It's time for another closer look at a key Kentucky Derby contender. What's up, guys? I'm Jared Welch back with you for another contender for the 2022 Kentucky Derby. Charge it. If I look familiar, you've seen the charge it video. I did a charge it uh, kind of review of why he couldn't win the Kentucky Derby. So I'll try, I'll try to be the bias aside. I'll just give you analysis of what charge it is as we head into this race. Charge it, trained by Todd Fletcher. Louis Asai is going to ride. He's Honestly, he's probably one of the more talented horses in the entire race. Um, I would put him top, definitely top five. But I don't know what, if he can win in this race. You know, he's got a lot of things up against him. And, and I get that, you know, so do some of these others, especially, you know, a horse that um, is going to be a lower price than him than Taba. But you look at this horse and... Yes, he did. He took him two chances to break his maiden. He broke it. The first, second time was really impressive. Next time he goes to the Florida Derby. And he probably should have won. He was so green in that race. And I, I get that. But greenness is not going to help you out in the Kentucky Derby. He's a horse that he's going to continue to get better. I, I have very little doubt that, that Charge It is going to be a grade one winner at some point this year. Maybe it's the Belmont. I, I think I don't think the issue with this horse for me is not based off talent. He's scary in a in a sense that I am against him, but I also feel like he, he's he is capable of winning the race, and I, I do think he's going to be a little bit overbet um, just based on how I feel about him. Uh, you know, the Florida Circuit you could argue is maybe not the top end of what we've seen so far and heading into the Kentucky Derby. So, you know, the loss there to, in the Florida Derby doesn't necessarily help that. The buyers, you know, I've been good, low 90s, but nothing spectacular. My, my biggest issue with him is that he's going to have to do so many things, you know, for the first time in the Derby. He's going to have to win a stakes race. He never ran as a two-year-old. So, his you know, his seasoning is, is not there. He's still developing. He hasn't he didn't even run the stakes until April. You know, he he he, he like he's very few of the of in here that in terms of contenders, legit contenders that don't didn't even, you know, run in a stakes race. Didn't even win a stakes race. So just like you're you know, then you have to remember too that as good as Todd Pletcher is, and he's a genius at getting these horses into the Kentucky Derby. He's only had two wins and, and you know, that's super saver and always dreaming. And both of those horses had much better resumes and much better experience heading into this race that, than Charge It does. I, I see Charge It. I just keep thinking he's going to run a, a pretty good race here because I do think he's ultra talented. I do think that he's going to be able to be in a position to, you know, make a somewhat of a run, get in some trouble and then the excuses come and then, to me, sit off the Preakness, and then uh, he's a legit Belmont horse. If he can stay healthy, and and hopefully they point to that after this race, because I don't, again, I don't want to sound like I'm doing too hard. I, I do think Charge It is very good. I just don't think in this race um, there's going to be too much up against them, too much traffic, too many issues, too many excuses that are possible for this horse. So Charge It, I think he's a legit horse. I don't think he's a legit threat to win the Kentucky Derby. All right, leave your comments below. Let us know your thoughts. More contenders at racingdudes.com. We're doing the entire, not just the entire 20 field, uh, but we're doing anyone that might possibly get in to the Kentucky Derby. There is analysis of that horse. Racingdudes.com. Of course, go to our YouTube page, subscribe, hit like for all these videos, and leave your comments below. See you next time. This has been a presentation of racingdudes.com. Your destination for all things horse racing and sports betting. Whether you want free winners, expert insider picks, up-to-the-minute trackside weather reports, or podcasts and videos for bettors of all skill levels, never make another wager without visiting the Racing Dudes first.